Hello students, in this video I am going to talk about the last part of the living world that is a taxonomy aid. And what is taxonomy aid? Taxonomy aid means the studies of various living organisms that are useful in the agriculture, public health, then forestry, industry as well as the environmental biology. Though what is the, the taxonomical studies of various living organisms are useful in agriculture, public health, then industry, forestry and also environmental biology. And these studies require for the study of this living organism, they require the correct classification and identification of the organisms. That is for the study of these organisms, we already stated or learned that it requires a correct classification and identification of the organisms. And this identification requires the intensive laboratory and the field study. So it is very important to have a uh, very intensive that is elaborate laboratory study as well as the field study. And the collection of specimen for the study we initially need to the collect the specimen, we get the specimen, we need to get the specimen as a collection of specimen is a prime source of taxonomic studies. For the taxonomic studies the initial there is a collection of specimen. Then identification after identification we have to name it then classify it so taxonomical a the studies of various living organisms that are useful in the agriculture forestry industry public health and also environmental biology these studies requires the correct classification and identification of the organisms and the identification requires intensive laboratory and the field study and collection of the specimen is a prime source of the taxonomic studies and the taxonomists have developed a variety of taxonomic aids that is taxonomic have developed a variety of taxonomic aid to facilitate identification naming and classification so for the to do this process for the process of identification naming and classification of the organism taxonomist has developed a variety of taxonomic aids and these studies are carried out from the actual specimen that which are collected from the fields right that is we need the specimen we are collecting this specimen from the fields though these studies that is identification naming and classification of the living organisms are carried out from the actual specimen or the real specimen that we are collected from the field and are preserved as reference they are preserved in the form of a reference for future right or for the the reference is actually keeping for the knowledge that we are identified these species or these organisms with their means or their data that is reference that is in the form of herbaria museum botanical garden and zoological parks that is taxonomics have developed various taxonomic aids that is for what to facilitate for the help the identification naming and classification of organisms and these studies that is identification naming and classification of organisms are carried out from our actual specimen the real specimen which are collected we are got from the fields we are took from the fields and are preserved as a reference in the form of herbaria then museums botanical garden zoological parks and what is the definition for the taxonomical aid? Taxonomical aids are the techniques, procedures and the information stored that are used in the identification and classification of the various organisms. That is taxonomical aids is the techniques or the procedures or the information that stored that are used in identification and classification of the various organisms. And here comes the taxonomical aid. What are coming under the tax or some of the taxonomical aids are the herbarium, museum, zoological park, then botanical park, then key, monographs, manuals, catalogs and floras. And one by one we can then coming slides we can see what is herbarium, what is museum, what is zoological park, key, how they help us in the identification of the organisms or the study purpose of these organisms. This is a picture of the herbarium, this is a botanical garden, this is a zoological park, okay, zoo. And the next the video is come, the, here we are discussing about the herbarium or the dry garden. What is meant by herbarium or the dry garden? The name itself is a dry garden. 
that is a herbarium is a storehouse of the collected plant specimen that are dried pressed and preserved on the sheets that is the meaning the name is a dry garden means a herbarium is a dry garden that is herbarium is a storehouse of collected plant specimen we are collecting the different plant specimen rare specimens from the fields those collected plant specimens we are drying it and pressed that is that are dried pressed and preserved on a sheets okay preserved on the sheets and these sheets are organized and arranged according to a universally accepted system of classification that is herbarium is a storehouse of collected plant specimen okay how they are storing this that are dried pressed and preserved on the sheets the herbarium sheets will be there on that preserved plant specimens are there how they are preserving they are dried and pressed onto the sheets and they are preserved and these sheets are organized or categorized or grouped or in and arranged according to a universally accepted system of classification and this specimen along with their description and herbarium sheet becomes a storehouse or repository for future use we can use this data or use this herbarium sheets that is for the study or description that is the specimen for the future use when we find a species of plant similar to this we can refer to that herbarium or the storehouse and can refer to the features of those that whether there is any relationship or not that study purpose we can use for the future okay as a reference purpose we can use in future that is this specimen that's a pressed preserved dried specimen of the plant that are kept on the herbarium sheet that becomes the storehouse or repository for the future use and this herbarium which serves as a quick reference system in the taxonomical studies that is for the taxonomical studies herbarium serves as a quick reference system that is in the taxonomy that means the classification of the organisms based on their observable characters different characters that are organisms are classified into different taxa or categories so for that herbarium serves as a quick reference and the, there are various steps for the preparation of this herbarium sheet of the herbarium or the specimen preserved specimen the to preserve this specimen there are various steps are involved that is first one you have to collect the sample right we need to get the specimen so collect the specimen then the collected specimens are pressed and dried to remove the moisture content why you are pressing and drying first it is pressed then dried to remove the water content or the moisture content is a live plants right if the plants if you press on the paper you can see that where the green color fluid comes out so first it is pressing then it is kept for drying then pasting of the dried specimen on the herbarium sheet of standard size the herbarium sheet is of standard size 23 into 41 cm and this dried specimen are pasted on to this herbarium sheets and the pasted specimen after pasting are sprayed sprayed with a fungicide to avoid the fungal growth you we know that if you keep any any this kind of plants or flower flower petals if you keep for long days in our books or inside the papers after some days there will be fungus growth will be there to avoid that fungal growth to remove that fung growth of the fungus to stop the growth of the fungus why what they did what they did is they paste they sprayed the specimen with a fungicide so what are the various steps involved collection of the specimen the collected specimens are pressed and dry to remove the moisture content then it is pasted on to the herbarium sheet of size 21 into 44 cm and this pasted herbarium that is uh, sheets or the plant specimen are sprayed with fungicide to avoid the fungal growth and finally there will be this label on this pasted sheet each sheet contain a label that label what is that label included the, the label contain informations like locality of the collection from where this plant is collected or the specimen is collected 
who collected name of the collector date and time of the collection at what time it is collected on which day it is collected what is the common name of this plant what is the scientific name of this plant what is the family name and few key points about the specimens so after spraying with the fungicide it is labeled properly what are the label contains what all things are there included in the label informations regarding the locality of collection name of the person who collected it date and time of collection and the common name its scientific name family name as well as some of the key points about this specimen and some important herbaria of the world are the first herbarium was found in the university of padua in italy in italy the first herbarium was found that is in the university of padua and the herbarium of the royal botanical garden kew in great britain another example or another herbaria is the herbarium of the indian botanical garden in kolkata and herbarium of the botanical survey of india in pune these are the some of the important herbaria of the world the first herbaria was found in the university of padua in italy then herbarium of the royal botanical garden q in britain and herbarium of the indian botanical garden that is in the kolkata and herbarium of the botanical survey of the indian pune how what are the procedure to prepare this herbarium collection of specimen then the preparation of specimen that is a pressed and dried to remove the water content then it is pasted on the herbarium sheets of 23 into 41 cm after pasting you should be sprayed with the fungicide to avoid the fungal growth then it is labeled properly and the label contains informations regarding the place of collection and the name of the collector date and time of collection common name scientific name family name and few key points about the specimen and this is a uh, picture showing the herbarium that is a q herbarium botanical garden that is a in london or the great britain then this is a herbarium sheet that is a specimen this is herbarium of a plant then next is a botanical garden in the botanical garden you know that we visited we, we all may visited the botanical gardens there we can see lots of different huge trees you can see flowering plants will be there medicinal plants will be there and they are preserved and protected that is botanical garden and are the large size area that have collections of living plants live plants will be there for identification classification and also for the reference purpose botanical garden are the large size area that have the collections of herbarium is a dried forms right dry garden but botanical garden is a live garden that is a consisting of live plants for identification classification as well as a reference purposes and botanical garden is an educational institution institution or education institute that is systematically organized and beautiful landscape with a collections of variety of trees ornamental plants and medicinal plants that is botanical garden is an educational institute that is systematically organized and have a beautiful landscape that with the collections of varieties of trees ornamental plants and medicinal plants each plant is labeled with its botanical or scientific name and its family you can see whoever visit the botanical garden can see that there is a label on the trees or the plants they yeah. have put it put it a label they kept it labeled that label contains its botanical name and its family or the scientific name and its family is written on that label a botanical garden generally has there also they kept herbarium there will be library and art and photographic study centers lecture halls and nurseries can also see in the botanical garden not only this kind of live plants there there can be seen there we can also see herbarium library art and photography study center lecture halls and nurseries and some of the famous botanical gardens are royal botanical garden kew england then indian botanical garden kolkata 
the National Botanical Garden Lucknow that is also in India. That is the famous botanical gardens are Royal Botanic Garden Q in England, Indian Botanical Garden Kolkata, India, then Indian National Botanical Garden Lucknow in India. So, the questions I saw that some of the questions came from the in botanical gardens in India that is located in the in Indian Botanical Garden is located in the Kolkata, the National Botanical Garden is located in the Lucknow in India. That is a very important question, two, three times I think they asked for the need. And the museum, a museum is a collection of preserved plants and animal specimen for study and reference purpose. I think we, most of the people visited the museums, then botanical gardens, right? Few visited the herbarium, but zoo, zoo park, that is zoos, zoological parks, we usually visit, right? So, the museum is a collection of preserved plants and animal specimen for the study and reference purposes. And the biological museum are usually set up in schools and colleges and other biological institutions. You can see these biological museums in usually set up in the schools and colleges. You can see the biological labs with this will be there in that you can see the specimen collected specimen in the schools some colleges have that and other biological institutions also have this biological museum and specimens may be preserved as dry specimens that is in jars or in means or also as a wet specimen that is in the jar that is a chemical solution or the preservatives are added and this chemical the specimens are kept in the jars that is specimen may be preserved as a dry specimen or in a chemical solution or preservatives and have been correctly identified, labeled, stored and exhibited to the public. Okay. The specimens may be preserved. How this biological museum, the specimens are preserved? They may be as a dry forms or in a solution that is a preservative solutions added in the jars you can see. Oh, these all specimens are correctly identified, labeled and stored and are exhibited to the public. And in the case of insects, they are after collecting, they are killed and pinned and it is kept in an insect box. Again, there will be insect box will be there. Inside that, you have kept the dyed insect specimen as a pin. It is kept pinned in the insect box. And the museum often have the collections of the animal skeletons. Animal skeletons can be seen and large animals uh, are very difficult to preserve. But some of the museum have these large animals, they usually preserve stuffed before keeping as a specimen. They have to be stuffed. Thus large, anim large animals are usually preserved as a stuffed specimen. A biological museum. There are the museums you can see large number of animals and plant specimens can be seen at least for the study and reference purpose and the biological museums are usually set up in the schools and colleges and other biological institutions. Specimens may be preserved as a dry or in a chemical solution and have been correctly identified, labeled, stored and exhibited to the public. Insects after collecting killed and pinned in a insect box. Museum often have the collections of the animal skeleton and large animals are usually preserved as a stuffed specimen. And this is a picture showing one of the animal, uh, this one elephant is a stuffed form and this is a museum, image of the museum. Next is a zoological parks. We all know that we all visited the zoo many times in many parts of the countries or many stays or countries we visited and we usually visit the zoo, right? We nobody will miss the to go inside the zoo, right? So, there we can see live animals where wild animals are kept live and is protected under natural environment and they may be cared by the human beings under human care. That is places where wild animals are kept live in protected natural environment under human care. Why the reasons why they are doing that they are keeping the animals in this protected environment that is mainly to study. They all are wild animals. They are not living together with us. If we kept it in the zoo in a protected environment or giving their natural habitat, 
we can study about they can survive in this kind of family they are living in this habitat or not what kind of food they are eating or the what is the food habit they have what is the behavior of these animals so to study its habitat food habit and behavior we are keeping it in a zoo and exit to conservation also is there that is the parks are the site to breed animals under captivity to avoid extinction so many animals are under extinction to provide protect these animals from the extinction also that so that park they provide a natural environment for them to breed so that they can protect them from extinction or avoid extinction and, and in addition if they are open for the public people can visit the zoos right so there can be tourism also is one of the another reasons that we are keeping that animals is a live animals in the zoo and zoo is provided with possible collection sim so the possible conditions similar as their natural environment natural habitat they are provided with the natural environment or natural habitat as much as possible and here the some of the zoological parks famous zoological parks the gir national park in the gujarat venarkate national park that is in bangalore corbett national park in uttarakhand these are the few famous zoological parks that is gir national park that is in gujarat gir is in gujarat venarkade national park is in bangalore corbett national park is in uttarakhand next one is a key next taxonomic aid is a key and key is actually a written statements or documents they are actually a written statement or the documents and key is a two to sorry tool used for the identification of plants and animals based on similarities and dissimilarities that is key is a written statement or the documents it is kept as a document and key is a tool used for the identification of the plants and animals based on their similarities and dissimilarities this is also another question that is which Uh, taxonomical aid is used for the identification of plants and animals based on the similarities and dissimilarities that is key key is a written statement or documents that is key is a tool used for identification of plants and animals mainly based on the similarities and dissimilarities and keys are the based on contrasting characters called couplets key usually based on the contrasting character to um, opposite characters contrasting characters called couplets and each statement in the key is called a lead that is there may be statements uh, the statement or documents right so each statement in the key is called a lead key or each couplet represent a choice made between two opposite option there is a choice made between two opposite options there will be anyway if you are selecting one organisms or we are um, identifying organisms there will be two options will be there uh, that is a two contrasting characters will be there that results in the acceptance of only one and rejection of the other in the key that is also another question that is a key or each couplet represent a choice made between two opposite option that is contrasting characters result in acceptance of only one and rejections of the other and key is usually analytical in nature separate taxonomic keys are required for each taxonomic category for identification purpose separate taxonomic keys are required for each taxonomic category for identification purposes and there are two types of keys the first one is indented key and second one is the bracketed key the first indented key which provides a sequence of choice between two or more statements of the characters of species that is indented key which provides a sequence of choices between two or more statement of a characters and species bracketed key where pairs of contrasting characters are used for identification that is pairs of contrasting characters are used for identification in the back bracketed key indented key means choices more choices are available between two or more statements okay and this is a picture showing the and dichotomous key that is vertebrae vertebrae means two are coming fur without fur and with the fur or the feathers fur that is feathers 
no feathers that is for, with the fur mammals are coming no fur that is feathers no feathers feathers birds are there no feathers again classified into given dry skin moist skin dry skin is a reptile then the moist skin is a having scales no scales scales means fish no scale is a moist skin organism that is amphibian that is a key key there will be similarities and dissimilarities and two contrasting characters will be there or statements will be there out of which one is selected and other is rejected and next is a another taxonomical aids other means of recording descriptions are the flora manuals monographs and catalogs that is flora manuals monograph and catalogs and here flora that contains the details of the plant specimen that is about its habitat and the habit that is what kind of condition is living or what are the requirements for this plants that is flora contains details of the plant specimen that is their habit and the habitat that is actual information about the habitat and distribution of the plants in a given area if a particular area is taken that the distribution of plants in that area and what is the actual habitat of that area that is known as the flora flora is giving about giving the actual information regarding the habitat and distribution of plants in a given area and it provides the index to the plant specimen found in particular area that is it provides a index to the plant species found in a particular area and the manual manual provides information for the identification of the names for the specimen manual usually provide the information for the identification of the names other um, this uh, um, flora is for the species identification here the identification of the names of the species found in an area that is area specific and more details as compared to flora when it is compared to the flora manuals have the more detailed informations regarding a plant species in an area and helps in the identification next is a monograph monograph is actually a book that contain informations on any one taxon okay any one category or any one unit of classification that is or a particular taxonomic group that is monograph are the book that contain informations on any one taxon or a particular taxonomic group next is a catalog catalog is an alphabetical listing or index of a name of a plant specimen catalog is an alphabetical listing or you can simply say it's an index of name of plant specimen and these are about the taxonomic aid that is taxonomic aid mainly used for the purpose taxonomists have developed the taxonomic aid for the why identification naming and classification of the living organisms and there is taxonomic aids that we studied are the herbarium then botanical gardens museum zoological parks then we studied about the key then after that we studied about the flora manual monograph and catalog and the next video i just want to recall the last day's topic that many of the have the confusion regarding this and many questions are coming regarding this on this part that is why i have included this small section also along with the taxonomic a that is the difference between hierarchy taxon taxa and category so what is the difference between hierarchy taxon taxa and category hierarchy in the last class or the previous video i have told that it is a systematic framework is a is a framework in which taxonomic groups or taxa are arranged in a definite order or simply we can say that all categories together constitute the hierarchy taxonomic hierarchy is a category group of category that is phylum division class all these groups together forms the hierarchy that is a systematic framework in which taxonomic groups or taxa are arranged in a definite order and what is a taxon taxon is a group of organism occupying a particular taxonomic rank taxon is a 
group of organism occupying a particular tax taxonomic rank is called as a taxon or is a unit of classification is also known as unit of classification and they are the real group of organisms more specificity among this taxon that is a real group of organisms and it belongs to any ranking it deals with the object a taxon is actually a group of organism occupying a particular taxonomic rank is called as a taxon and a real group of organism it is a real group of organisms and it belongs to any ranking and it deals with the object and there also question comes like what is difference between taxa and taxon it is the definition wise both are sim same or similar but the only difference that taxon is a singular form and taxa is a plural forms right that that means if you take your classroom in the classrooms many students are there right so individually if you take it is a taxon if you as a whole it is taken is a plural form that's only the difference that is singular and plural form the taxon is a singular forms and taxa is a plural an example we can say the taxon is a mango wheat lion these are the mango is a mango is a fruit wheat is also a cereal right there is not coming under any it is not a uh, genus it is not a, it is a species and next is a lion this lion is actually this is also a species that is coming under <coughs> panthera leo right genus panthera and next is a category refers to various degrees of position or rank that the category refers to various degrees of position or ranks in other words each specific classes or ranks that is phylum kingdom uh, that is class order genus this individual each specific classes or ranks in a hierarchical system this individual classes or ranks are known as category and it belongs to one particular ranking that is if it is a genus that is a particular ranking that is a genus that is a category genus and there are seven obligate taxonomic category that we studied in the last video that are, there are seven obligate taxonomic category kingdom phylum or division in place of plants then class order family genus and species and there are 21 intermediate categories are also there 21 intermediate category and the question is what is a tribe which coming under which is a intermediate category that is between the subfamily and the genus tribe is coming under the intermediate category that is between subfamily and genus and here is the some of the examples i can see i can give you that is wheat wheat is a taxon okay but it coming under the category species likewise panthera it is a taxon but it is coming under panthera is a genus category mango it's a mango that's a fruit that is coming under species angiosperm that is coming under the category division mammals that is coming under the class polymonials that is coming under the category order plant coming under the kingdom category right so in this picture you can see this red fox vulpes vulpes they actually coming from the domain eukarya kingdom animalia then phylum codata class mammalia order carnivora family canidae genus vulpes and species also vulpes this is a red fox and here in this slide there is a kingdom to species the kingdom to species if you go down in the descending order that is specificity increases common characters increases number of organism decreases that is as we go down from kingdom to species you can see that more specific and the common characters also increases number of organism will decreases but if you go in the reverse order from lower category to higher category you can see that specificity is decreasing less specificity there will be more uh, dissimilarities will be there and the common characters also decreases but number of organisms will be more 
bulk of organisms in the kingdom you can see large variety of every from animal and plant animal is coming under and the kingdom so it will be large number of organisms if we go from species to kingdom level the number of organisms will be more but it becomes general and here are some examples i have given uh, to differentiate between the some questions are coming like uh, different tax at different level different tax at same level to uh, clear that i have given that wheat panthera mango angiosperm plant mammal right wheat is a species panthera is a genus mango is a species these all are species and they all are a different taxon right these all are in the previous slide i showed that wheat is a taxon panthera is a taxon mango is a taxon but their category is like a species genus species then kingdom class division like that so that is different their taxa also taxon also different their category also different that is different taxon at a different level then mammalia and dicotyledonae they are coming under same category class that is even though they are taxons are different right that is mammalia dicotyledonae their taxons are different but they are coming under the category class their class same category class okay their category is similar that means different taxon mammalia and dicotyledonae different taxons but a same category that is same level that means different taxon at same level panthera solanum canis panthera tigris right that's a tiger solanum tuberosa potato then canis felis dog so panthera solanum canis these all are genus that is categories are similar but panthera tiger another species potato then dog the species wise so the taxon is actually different but all are same category genus that means different taxon at same level i think you guys understood right once again wheat panthera mango angiosperm you can see that wheat is a taxon panthera is a genus uh, taxon that is wheat is a species panthera is a genus mango is a or species plant is a kingdom then it's a division mammal class so these all are different taxa and their category are also different that is different taxa at different levels right then mammalia and dicotyledonae mammalia and dicotyledonae they are taxon different one is mammalia one is dicotyledonae but they both are level is mammalia is a class dicotyledona is a category class so both are class that means different taxon mammalia and dicotyledonae different taxon but same level that is mammalia is a category class dicotyledona is a category class so different taxon at same level another example that is panthera solanum canis panthera tigris solanum tuberosa canis felis the panthera is a tigris that is a what taxon different solanum to potato taxon different canis that is felis is a dog that is also taxon different but they all are category genus panthera is a genus solanum is a genus canis is also a genus so they all are coming under the category genus that means different taxon at same level i think these are about the difference between the hierarchy then our taxon taxa and also taxonomic a in this video i have included all this and my chapter uh, our first chapter the living world is completed in i think you guys can follow whatever i am explained in this video as well as my previous videos 
and hopefully you guys can understand and if you are interested in my videos please share with your friends and thank you